month, we were awarded a very prestigious grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services, very exciting endeavor, that we and several key partner and conservation facilities are undertaking so that we can ensure sustainability of our rhino populations within our nation's zoos. Our partners on this grant effort are Taronga Conservation Society Australia, Southeast Zoo Alliance for Reproduction and Conservation, SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment, ST Genetics, and the Denver Zoo. Together, we will be implementing proven and innovative assisted reproductive techniques along with and concurrent to natural breeding efforts so that we can create healthy and genetically viable populations of our three managed rhino species. Our managed populations of rhinos not only educate the public about them and to have a care for living animals in their habitat, but they also serve as a safeguard for the species extinction in the wild. So they're a genetic reservoir should conservation translocations be needed in the future once wild populations are more secure. Critical research is getting conducted both on wild as well as our managed rhinos and the results of both of these translate to better outcomes across the two settings. So this grant endeavor is going to apply sex sorted artificial insemination to both African white and Asian greater one horned rhinos so that our managed populations can more closely mimic their natural biology that's in the wild, which is that of a harem or a herd structure in which you have multiple females and a single male. For the African black rhino, we're working to develop an effective estrus synchronization protocol to improve natural breeding introductions because this species has subtle behavioral clues of receptivity. It's also an important step for developing more advanced assisted reproductive technology for this critically endangered species. We will be working with the Species Survival Plan, or SSP, for each of the three managed rhino species so that we have the best genetic matches when we do either natural breeding or the assisted reproductive technology. Inherent in all of our grant work over the next few years is the goal to strengthen and grow an already dedicated network, or as rhinos would say, a crash of scientists, veterinarians, and care staff that's focused on management and reproductive care of rhinos within our association of zoos and aquariums. So in so doing, we're gonna work to keep the five alive.